how you doing? It's Tim and real quick I wanted to share a video and ask you guys what do you do when you have a customer that does not want to pay or they haven't paid yet it's the end of the season like right now. Last week I had literally almost a dozen customers that weren't paid up and I had done last mowings for them and cleanups and everything and they still had not paid yet and I want to know what do you guys do? I will tell you out of the three years that I've been doing this now, I, I'm sick and tired of it. And I can't continue to do business the way I'm wanting to do business as with the changes that I'm trying to make and I know something's got to change. And that something's got to change is with me and not the customers. And so with me learning that, I know that I am going to be putting in a system to erase and eliminate all that um, <laughs> craziness that I'm really put upon myself. And a lot of that had to do with me being in fear because I was scared to um, really take control of the business. And I, I had customers literally always walking on me, stepping on me, and I feared and I was intimidated by the customers and what, you know, they'd say or think of me um, if I was asking for the money that I had worked for and thinking that I might lose them as a customer as if I really needed them because you know I didn't have that many customers so literally just last week I out of you know almost a dozen customers I had over two thousand dollars that were not paid yet and what I did was I got on the phone and I had called every single one of them and I didn't get hold of anybody <laughs> and this would have anybody freaking out like what is going on you know they're not paying me and some of them were people that would always pay up and never had a problem with it and all of a sudden there was an issue and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie that that it will freak you out so after I had called them all I had a few of them get back to me none of them called me back but they had text messaged me or they sent me an email back saying we apologize, sorry we missed it. I know the holiday season, it's always hard. At the end of the season, they're not thinking about their lawn and so they do forget those payments. And so, yes, I, I do understand now. After doing this for a few years, I do understand this does happen. And so, unlike my first couple years, I wasn't too scared about people not paying this year because I know it was just something that was probably like forgotten. And, and that is okay in that instance. And even right now, after that, I still have about a thousand dollars of people not paid yet and I haven't heard from these people either so what I did since I didn't hear back from them was I went ahead and I sent them a letter and I typed up a letter and I just let them know hey we need that money that your account is overdue with us and I gave them their account number invoice number how much they owe how many days late they are and let them know it's the end of the season that I really would like appreciate if they can contact me back and let let me know how they can work out to pay off this account because it is the end of the season and we're starting the new season and they need to have this account paid in full. And so I just mailed this out yesterday and I'm really hoping for 100% everybody pays back. Now my question to you, has anybody had gone to collections because people haven't paid? And this is really something that like deep inside like it kind of hurts that I'd literally have to go to, you know, another company to hire for collections just to get my money and give them, you know, bad credit and everything because they chose not to pay. After all the hard work and everything that I put in, paying my employees, all the equipment, all my expenses, and then I'm still not, you know, because it puts me under actually. Um, out of the three years so far, besides, you know, this season, that. I only had one person that hadn't paid and it was like for like two hundred and twenty dollars and literally they disappeared and on me and they refused to pay and I know pain always seems to be <laughs> sometimes going out and asking for that payment is is a hard thing to do and it's something that is really can be uncomfortable and for me it was something that I, I just absolutely feared it shook me up on the inside and I mean, even though I did the work, I was scared for some reason. And that's something that I had to overcome. And hey, it may not be something that you have a problem with, but it could be. And you could relate to literally not wanting to, and avoiding that conversation because it's it's a tough conversation to have, you think. Yeah, I mean, because you did the work, you think, hey, why am I not getting the money? But sometimes, you know, instead of thinking about yourself in that situation, you, you do got to realize that it's the end of the season. Sometimes customers, they just forget. 
and, and especially in days like today where everything is just put in everybody's face so fast everybody forgets please leave a comment below on what you guys think um, your opinions and what you guys do or have done in the past uh, handling these situations uh, really appreciate it um, push a like button and also I'll be sharing with you soon on the system that I just put together with my CRM on how I'm going to avoid and eliminate all these problems for next year because also with the whole thing the biggest concern is cash flow because I want to have a better cash flow at the startup of my season and when I'm invoicing like I've done before I said hey I'll just invoice unless you want to pay up front or pay at the time of my mo it's okay it's open you know it is what it is but now I'm gonna be pretty precise on how I receive my payments and what I'm gonna to do to do that and I'll share with that next time with you but when you go from April to May and you invoice at May and then you're waiting all month long for those checks to come in and sometimes they don't come in until two three weeks later after waiting that long it's you're needing money already and you're getting behind on other bills and things that maybe equipment that you need to buy for other jobs and you can't afford it and the marketing that you need to do at the start of the season and you don't have any funds available to do that well you got to figure out a better way and it is such a hard business to literally do if you are invoicing or and you don't have any capital and so i'll share with this next time but we'll see you later god bless you guys thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't yet and to follow us on this journey as i go from homelessness and drugs to owning and operating a million dollar business i will share strategies struggles and motivate you so you can get there with us no one said it's going to be easy so time to get going